Hi, this is Martin Espinoza with the Press Democrat. I'm over here at uh, at uh, Mountain Hawk and uh, Highway 12. There you have um, Skyhawk Village, and Skyhawk is just out that way. No fire is reached there, uh, but you can see the fire out that way, heading in the Sugarloaf. It's in the Sugarloaf area. Pythian and uh, I'm trying to get a better view of it it's the smoke is as you can see there's not a lot of wind out here um, but I and I'm, I'm what is that oh I'm trying to see if that's fire or or the sunrise. It's hard to tell. That 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 looks like the fire is uh, is. I oh, like that's where the sun is rising, but you can't see the sunrise because of the because of all the smoke. There's Skyhawk. There you go. That's Skyhawk. It's it's uh so far it's okay. Rincon Valley out that way. This is Highway 12. So far, so good. I thought I'd see more tankers. More. Is it ever gonna end? That's what I asked myself. Got the uh, I got the the Nixle advisory uh, not advisory the mandatory evacuation came over at at uh, 4:48 a.m. and uh, you know we just started getting ready got everybody out of the house the cats our three cats uh, by the time we were ready to leave <clears throat> that's when the uh, police department. Police officers, sheriff's deputies, and from all over the place, the ones that came through our neighborhood were from Santa Rosa, were just with their with their sirens telling everybody to get out. And uh, I live in I live in Piedmont Heights, just east of Calistoga Road near uh, Maria Carrillo, and uh, and and we we were out of there by you know half an hour. So everybody in my neighborhood leave. Police officers are still going up into the neighborhoods. That one's headed towards Skyhawk, telling everybody to get out. That fire looks looks quite a distance away over uh, over in the area of Sugarloaf. Uh, I'm not sure if this is connected to uh, the fire down in Sonoma or the or near uh, in Sonoma Valley. We're just on the northern end of that, on the easternmost part of the city, and again. It was a mandatory evacuation that was issued from Adobe Canyon in the area of Highway 12 from Adobe Canyon to Calistoga Road. So that includes all of this, this entire area over here. All the way, all the way to Rincon Valley, east of Calistoga Road. I haven't checked the, I haven't checked the advisories to see if that's expanded, but uh, I think they're, they're just being very cautious, very cautious. <clears throat> And I actually, that is the sun rising right over there, or trying to rise. As you can see, right there. That's no, those aren't flames. That's the sun. You see that dot there? I was so happy to see the sun come up. Thinking there'd be more tankers up there dropping, but. That's the third time we've had to leave our house. Obviously, um, Monday morning, early Monday morning, right around the same time. And then uh, when they issued a uh, uh, an advisory evacuation for uh, for Rincon Valley North, 
of Calistoga Road and left with my son at that time around midweek. I think it was, uh, God, was that Wednesday? Yeah. So I just heard a bullhorn here from a police, from a law enforcement saying there's a mandatory evacuation, please leave immediately. The one that I got over Nixville said, leave now. And that is just so unnerving. I know that the entire North Coast has just been on edge all week. This thing has just been a terrible disaster. Here, here you go. Police officers going through the neighborhood. Looks like everybody has left here. This is what they've been doing all morning. Hey, Rosa, the police department. This is mandatory evacuation. Evacuate immediately. Yeah, just a lot of officers all over the place, just getting people out of their homes. Hey, Rosa, the police department. This is a mandatory evacuation area. Evacuate immediately. Motorcycles. It looks like people have left. <laughs> Santa Rosa Police Department, mandatory evacuation. Evacuate Santa immediately. What time is it? It's 6, 645, 6.44. And they're putting tape, red tape over, uh, over mailboxes. With press Democrat. Putting caution tape on people's gates. They're not taking any chances right now. This is San Rafael Police. Right there. Just going door to door. Can you imagine how many homes there? Imagine how many homes they're having to knock on. Oh god. Again, I'm not I'm not near the fire. The smoke is off some in Scott on uh sugar loaf. See for yourself, though, how thorough they are. This area, I'm, I'm up near Skyhawk, but I'm on the uh, south side of Highway 12. The sun does it look like. Yeah, I want to show you. That's Antioch Police Department. And that's Skyhawk out that way.
So we just saw an evacuation of this neighborhood here. I think it's uh, I'm at Queen Anne, Queen Anne and East Lake Drive. Queen Anne Drive and East Lake. And this this whole area has just, just been evacuated. Well, I'm sure the people left here hours ago, but the police are driving through these neighborhoods just making sure that there's nobody here, that everybody has left. You could see the sun, sun rays over there. Skyhawk. I believe that's Skyhawk up that way. It's cold. Still cold out here. There's Skyhawk Village. This is Highway 12. And this whole area has been evacuated. In fact, everything from Adobe Canyon all the way up to Calistoga Road, which is just to the left, is, is being evacuated and has been evacuated. And that was the sun right over there. That's where the fire is. And you can just barely see the sunrise through. All right. It just doesn't get any closer. <sighs> this is just, you just gotta ask yourself when this is gonna end. This is the Skyhawk area. It's uh, the fire is, is is off pretty far. It's I think at this point it is it hasn't reached into these neighborhoods. But I don't want to say anything that's wrong cuz I don't have any I can't see any flames from here. I just see smoke over near Sugarloaf. I do see Skyhawk homes that are okay though. This entire neighborhood. And then the sun's coming up, as you can see. Which fire is this? I'm, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is the nuns. <clears throat> but I, I do know that that smoke is coming from Sugarloaf. From the Sugarloaf area. Mandatory evacuation came in at about 4.48 for the area of Highway 12, everything from Adobe Canyon to Calistoga Road. That included my, my neighborhood, Piedmont Heights, just east of Calistoga Road. We left there around 5.30. Skyhawk was also this neighborhood up here to the, uh, the south, uh, just south of Highway 12. These police officers, it's mostly what I'm seeing is police officers and they're just going through the neighborhoods telling everybody to, uh, that hasn't already left to get to leave. <clears throat> I haven't actually seen a lot of fire it, fire engines. I'd imagine they're over there fighting the fire. But <sighs> I'm going to sign out. If I get something else, I'll, I'll go. I'll go live again. Again, Martin Espinosa, the Press Democrat.